Hi guys, Kuma Drone Academy is on the line from Winnipeg. Today we are changing together with you the camera angle on Beta FPV Meteor 75 Pro Whoop Drone. We have two mounts from the box with the different angles and the third one is already pre-set up on the drone. By default the angle is near 20 degrees, but if you want to fly indoor or you are a beginner in FPV, the best option is to change mount with almost 0 degree angle. We are taking the wider one. Ok, first we cut zip tie that we applied before, reason why check later in the video. Then we have to loosen the screws. We are using hex tool or you can use other screwdriver set. We have three screws, that's why let's unscrew it one by one. We have the first one, don't lose it. Put it in the box, where you can find it later, then the second one. And the third one is the most tricky one, because it is under the VTX antenna. Unscrew it gently, not to spoil antenna, because in another case you would not see anything from your camera. After that, lift camera gently, because you have to be careful with the radio antenna that's inside of Canopy. And here we go! Now we have to loosen two screws on VTX transmitter. I sped up video four times. If you want to make it slower, just slow the video. We unplug camera from VTX transmitter. Canopy with camera separately. Loosen the last two screws to take out the camera from canopy. Wires of camera should be inside from the bottom. Take out the camera, now you can change the mount. As you can see, the ears of the mount has different angle. Now we have to assemble all parts together and put it correctly. First start with camera, wires in the bottom. Put the camera inside of the canopy and tighten the two screws back. Do not over tighten, as this could damage the camera mount. After we have to plug wire to the VTX transmitter, before plugging check if you are doing it with correct sight. In another case you can damage connector, VTX transmitter, put it in the hole of canopy first and then tighten the screws back. Then the most tricky thing, we have to put radio receiver inside of canopy from one side gently trying to put it inside. Receiver has to go and feed and tighten the last three screws back. And the last thing to zip tie the VTX transmitter and power wires from the back of the drone. This is additional safety step and in this case wires wouldn't be accidentally get in the blade propellers. This would save you the drone time and money. As you can see battery is easily coming inside the slot and you can plug it. Thanks for watching our channel Kuma Drone Academy. Please press like, subscription buttons and leave the comment. Appreciate your time and wish you safe flights, keep flying fast and safe.